Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting going to episode four of season two of Blue Locks. Let's go ahead and get started in three, two, one, go. Okay, so apparently from what I heard yesterday, well, what I heard slash saw a little bit, this episode was better than last week, so, okay. Yeah, please impress your boyfriend today. <laughs> Not Tetris. Oh my god. <laughs> But see, honestly, me, I'm not even good at Tetris. <laughs> I could be good for like the first, like, for, <laughs> and then I suck.
But you've been like that since episode one, though. That same trance, like, literally pushed you to do this. Okay. Once again, this is just a boyfriend trying to get his boyfriend back. Will you shut up? You're hesitating! Chorus. Did you see the fancy footwork on him?
but he's gonna try. There's a reason why he did that. Damn. The corn season. I mean, it, it took you this long to figure out. Oh, baby. Oh my god, honey! No, he's not. And it kills you to say that. And I, and I feel for him. I really truly do. But it's like... Finally, you know, so stop digging around and, and, like, either try to get him back or something. You're not even there. Then you fight for it.
Please. But it is a good ability, though. You're right. I mean, they really showing him cake up in this episode. <laughs> Oh my god. True, but you did good. You really exceeded my expectations. Okay, for Reto, like, this was a really good episode for him. I mean, I do feel for him where it's like, okay, yes, you either, if he would have lost, which in the end they did, and let's say he would have got kicked out of this, yes, he would have gone back to his basic, boring, rich, everyday life, which, to him getting everything he wants and everything is pretty much mundane for him, and so that's why when he found Nagi, like, he held that boy like it was hot. Oh, like. <laughs> he held that boy close. Like, he, he held him like he was a, um. A dog and such. But he really loves and, and cares for Naki. You can genuinely see that in the, their, like, first two episodes together. And when you get that backstory and such. But when Nagi, like, dumped him slash ditched him. And, you know, he's over here being, you know, a brooding emo and being like, oh, my God, my boyfriend broke up with me. Um, even though we didn't get to see several episodes of him doing his own thing, he built his confidence up and his like the way he plays. And he definitely built that up as well. So that he's like, the next time that I do see my man, we're going to we're not going to be on the same playing field. And, and that's exactly what it was for him. And I'm proud of him, honestly, for doing that. He got prettier.
brother. And you just go and like, you you want me to wait till next Saturday to find out what? What about your boyfriend? Obviously. Okay. Your other boyfriend, Isagi? <laughs> yeah. Really, honestly. <laughs> but no, like, I, I'll, I'll say this one other thing. And I'm, pr once again, proud of Leo for doing what he had to do to be, to get on that same stage of Nagi, even though he's like, you, you're a different type of Nagi. You're not the same Nagi that I met at the beginning of this. You are light years. You can tell, light years. Because he, he, Nagi's at the top freaking six. And, and Leo was, he's somewhere. <laughs> I hate to say that. And, and I know it sounds like I'm being mean, but I'm like, you know, we got to be honest because right now, like, mm, you ain't, if you're, here, here's the thing. And I'm going to be honest with this, brutally honest with this. If you are not in top, top six, then you're just ish. You were, you are absolute. Like, you are the bottom of the barrel. You are not these top six. You're never going to be these top six. But yes, all these, like, at the same time, all these guys, they got a fire lit under their butt because it's like, damn, I I not only got to do well for myself, I got to surpass any one of these mofos right here and such. But no, no, I, I think with a little bit more of determination for Leo, I think he could eventually surpass Nagi, I think it's just going to take some time. Now, let's say he does, it does make you, make you wonder what the boyfriend's going to be like, okay, Nagi, and how he's truly going to feel about that. Like, is he going to, you know, have a depressing moment like Leo, or is he going to be like, mm, no, I'm just going to try my best to, you know, defeat my quote-unquote boyfriend. That's something that I would really like to see. Now, Rin's brother, obviously, is talking about Rin, because there's only one idiot, Rin, if there is another idiot, it has to be, um, the blonde slash with the pink, uh, tips and stuff. Him. Maybe. I'm not sure. But, obviously, we have to wait until next Saturday to see how that's going to go. <laughs> but those are the two idiots I can immediately think of, like, that he wants to talk about. But because of the fact is, like, we still know from that first episode that there is still a lot of blood. Ugh, I can never say bad blood. Um, bad blood between Rin and his older brother, um, sign. hopefully that does get nipped in the butt very quickly or they're going to stretch it out for this season because I mean like we're in a couple of weeks we'll be like halfway done with this season so I, I honestly don't know what to expect really or how this is going to go but I guess inquiring minds once again want to know but other than that guys that is my action view choice episode four of season two of blue log if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like really helps me out also subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially all on saturday when i come home after work for episode five but until then i will see you guys all next time bye